Woo, hey everybody. <laughs> Happy Friday to you. Definitely going to uh, share this good news with you this morning. Give everybody a few minutes to come on in. It's been a good day today. I hope you've had a great Friday today too. Uh, but I, I got a question for you. Are you illegally, illegally in debt? All right, we'll talk about this for a minute. I hope, hope this is a blessing to you. hope it makes you smile. hope this helps you to have a better life. All right. Uh, I'll give everybody just about a minute to jump on. Um, yeah. Good stuff today. Good stuff today. Uh, I'll put a link up in the comment section uh, because this is uh, mixing uh, the financial mastery with a better life because I believe you can have both at the same time. Hey, everybody. Thanks y'all for jumping on. All right, put it on the side. All right, uh, we got about 30 seconds. I'll still wait. Um, I'll still wait a few more minutes for people to jump on. Hey, Tanita. Hey, Joseph. Hey, uh, Raven. Good to see you, sis. Definitely good to see you. Uh, the Saints jumping on. I'll wait a few more seconds. Just a few more seconds. Give me about 20 seconds and I'll get started. Um, if you all would be so kind as to uh, share this with other people, uh, tag other people, um, and then if you have comments and questions, put those on the, on the side. Uh, I'll come back to those in just a quick minute. All right, I'm going to get started in 10 seconds. Um, by the way, I'll go check out the Better Life Institute uh, YouTube channel. There is content there. Uh, that I don't always go live with, and then also check out the Facebook uh, page for Better Life Institute, and then you'll see me with a new new personal page, a new fan page for Dr. Ladre Weathers be the Better Life Coach. So definitely go take that out. All right, let's get started. Uh, today's topic. Today's topic. Happy Friday to you, and I've got to go check out my girl Ricky Smith's blurb for the day, but I'm late with mine. So anyway, uh, today's topic: Are you illegally indebted? Illegally indebted. And I know some people are like, what are you talking about? Well, according to the law, um, there are certain restrictions on debt, okay? Uh, in, the, in the Old Testament, you had seven years for debt, and that was it. Uh, even in our government, um, once it's over, it's supposed to be over. Now, how does it become over? Really simple. Either we pay it, it's forgiven, or we're released from it, right? We pay it, we forget, it's forgiven, we settle it, it, we're released from it. That's on the financial side. And truth be told, uh, there are some situations where we are financially illegally indebted, um, where the law says you're no longer bound to this, and the person or the company can hold it against you all they want, but they can no longer come after you, uh, they can no longer talk about it. That's the legal side on the finances. But I wanted to focus more so today, not indebted financially. I'm focusing today on indebted emotionally and relationally. See, I believe that once we get the finances under control, we've got to deal with everything else because the better life is built on strong finances and financial mastery. So here's my question. Um, who do you owe emotionally or in a relationship? And that person is either still holding it over your head or you're operating with them holding over your own head. So for example, uh, this is the year 2019, it's July 26th. How crazy would it be at my age to still run, sacrifice, drop my stuff, you know, put my life on hold to go help somebody because at the age of four, <laughs> uh, they, they helped me cut when a dog attacked me. True story, I, I did get bit by a dog. It wasn't four, but you get the idea. And so many times we are illegally indebted to people because we're holding on to what happened, not last week, not last month, not last year, but we're holding on to stuff that was done decades ago. We're holding on to people who helped us decades ago. And it's not that they helped us then, but they are no longer helping or supporting us now illegally indebted. You know, um, I've got a, a, a one of my, my business partners. I love her so much. Uh, we've been business partners, I think about six years now, give or take. Just go with me because I forget. 
And so what happened is uh, I was moving and I'm like, there's no one in the world I can finish. And so I made a phone call, said, hey, can you and the kids come help me? They packed up, came running. And so I've been indebted to her and them since then. But here's what makes this indebtedness not illegal. Number one, the relationship is reciprocal. When I need something and I can call on her, she needs something and she can call on me. It's reciprocal. So it's not illegal because number one, it's reciprocal. Number two, it's not illegal because it's repetitious. We consistently go back and forth. We consistently are in each other's corner. It's not like something happened in 2019 based off what happened in 1979. But what I'm afraid of is that people are struggling because it's not reciprocal. And, it, and it's not repetitious. You mean to tell me you helped me one time 30 years ago, and the minute you call me, because the only time you call me is when you need something, I'm supposed to drop everything in my life to come help you when you never help me, when you never reach out to me, and it's not consistent. There's no reciprocity there. There's no repetition there. And I believe that so many of us are, are, are not going to the next level. I believe that so many of us are not breaking free. I believe that so many of us are not producing what we could because we've got this illegal indebtedness in our head, over our head, and holding us back. You know, it could be your mom. Yes, your mom was there to bail you out of jail, but that was 30 years ago. <laughs> Maybe it is a should-be ex-friend. Maybe it is a, a current ex. Maybe it's somebody who has phased out of your life. And when they come back around, they manipulate you because they say, well, you know, I wiped your butt when I was when you were five. But I'm 45 now. It doesn't matter that you changed my diaper 40 years ago. It doesn't matter that you picked me up off the side of the road 30 years ago. I'm not indebted to you. I'm not forced to help you. And you shouldn't even bring that up because that was so long ago. And it's irrelevant now. I believe that so many of us are illegally indebted to people from our past. And because they're in our past, we struggle to go forward. I believe, you don't have to agree, but I believe that we're holding connections today that we should have let go long ago simply because they helped us out at one time or another. And here's the crazy part. Sometimes it's the little bitty help outs that we make so big because we've got such a heart to help. We've got such a heart of gratefulness and appreciation. But they're holding it over our heads, not because they're grateful, but just holding it over our heads simply because they can come back later. And the real truth, the root of this illegal indebtedness is usually manipulation. The real root of this is usually manipulation and deceit because they can come back and get you out of your goods that you've worked so hard for, that you've worked so long for. You've been tilling the ground for years and the return comes and here they come. Come on, let me hold some because you know I helped you. Yeah, but you did nothing for the current harvest that I have. Yeah, you did nothing to help with the current results that I have. Yeah, you weren't there when my spouse and I were, were uh, on the verge of divorce. You weren't there uh, when my business partners and I were on the verge of, of dissolving the agreement. You weren't there, but you want to come back now based upon something that happened so long ago. Again, I sincerely believe that if we deal with this illegal, illegally indebted status, it will help us to go forward. The biggest part about going forward is not necessarily where we go physically, but it's the peace and the release we get mentally. God, that was good. It is the peace and the release we get mentally. When you let that dead weight go, it's easy to go forward because your mind is more focused. When you let those people go who are really leeches and parasites go, you your mind gets freer. When you stop being indebted to those who have no interest in your progress and in your accomplishment and in your victory, man, think of where you can go. All right. Uh, my little brother, uh, Tavares, Tay said, this is good. I'm glad it was good. Uh, do me a favor and share with somebody else. I told you I'm done. Y'all know I'm really quick, uh, but I like to give, give some content along the way. It's not just about money because when money is out the way, oh my God, we've got to make sure that the rest of life follows the better, follows that, that foundation of money. Hey, Ricky, good to see you, sis. I'm going to check your stuff out in a minute. Uh, but again, uh, so I talked about being illegally indebted owing somebody or something, 
well after the time has passed. <laughs> and either you paid it, they forgave it, or it was released. But then I switched that illegally indebted concept to dealing with people. And we can't let people hold stuff over us when it does us no good because they use it to take advantage of us. All right. Thank you all for jumping on. Do me a favor. Uh, there's a link in the comments, Victory Financial Mastery. Uh, dot info, uh, a new coaching that I've launched, uh, really doing some stuff to help people really get this better life thing done. Why? Because when life is pretty good, a better life is always best. Blessings to you. I'll check you all on the next time. Have a great weekend.